at 530, the business of dupes. If you can't afford it, get the dupe. <laughs> but do you even know what they are? Can you spot the dupe? Tonight, the new way to get that designer look for less, much less. What we called knockoffs are now being called dupes. Yeah, but this is not about counterfeits. It's about truly getting the look of luxury without paying the price. And a recent survey from Business Insider and YouGov found that over 70% of Gen Zers, people born between 1997 and 2012, will sometimes or always buy dupes instead of the more expensive designer names. CBS News Miami's Lisa Petrillo explores the business of dupes. Let's start with Kylie Cosmetics. Kylie's is 21. This is 750. They call them dupes, short for duplications, and they're everywhere, especially on social media. But this is literally an exact dupe of the Dior lip oil. Dupes are not counterfeits or illegal knockoffs. They're products that closely mimic high-end items without breaking the bank. This is $890. Tony Bianco will hold you down once again for $150. Offering consumers the feel of luxury at a fraction of the cost. The truth is, some of us are on a beer budget, but we have caviar and champagne tendencies, uh -huh. so that's where dupes come into play. <laughs> Miami's own lifestyle blogger and influencer Maria Tetamonte struts her stuff with a wardrobe that's the best of both worlds. From haute couture to savvy dupes, she's got it all covered. Maria says with prices soaring, dupes are hotter than ever. Literally look at that. Eight dollars. Run and go get it. It got big because prices got out of hand. Yes. Okay, a pair of Bottega earrings that were so in vogue were $780, and I was like, I'm not going to spend $780 on these teardrops. Let me go on Amazon or let me go on Target and see if I can find these earrings. She scored those exact earrings with a simple search on Amazon. Boom! $12, guys. <laughs> Isn't that insane? Dupes aren't just for fashionistas, they're for everyone. From housewares to makeup, you name it, there's a dupe for it. I'd say that in the terms of the stores I go to for dupes, it's definitely going to be um, Zara. Uh -huh. It's going to be Amazon. It's going to be Walmart even Etsy. It starts with you taking a picture of what you like and an upload on Google Images, like this decorative item she keeps on her shelf. You can literally shop from your phone. I found it from $7 to $8. I shop like a billionaire. Maria says it's not about pushing the designers out, it's about being a savvy shopper. A lot of people would reach out to me. I have a blog and they'd say, you know, you covered the Louis Vuitton fashion show and you covered Prada, but I don't have $3,000 to spend on a handbag. Can you show me the look for less? So that's kind of how I organically fell into this realm. Dupes are also a vibe. Maria owns these real pink Manolo Blahniks priced around a thousand bucks and also their Zara purple doppelgangers. $1,000. $40. Bedazzled. So again, not an exact copy, but a look. Exactly. This, the aesthetic. 100%. <laughs> and check out what Maria calls her Poro Piana bag. A cheeky dupe of the Loro Piana handbag priced at $3,500. This one was 40 on Amazon. We played a game. Spot the dupe. Can you spot the dupe? Two of these bags are from Bottega Veneta. One is not. The real ones are priced at three dollars and $4,000. <laughs> this one is not? Sadly, this is real. <laughs> So we're talking, you're, you were wrong. This is the dupe, I got it on Amazon, and I never tell people it's real. I'm always like the first to say, this is the dupe, $30. <laughs> so we hit the streets to find out who's duping and who's not. I think that it's unethical, honestly, because it's someone who's ripping off another person's creativity. If you can't afford it, get the dupe. <laughs> <laughs> Do your thing. I mean, fashion is fun and to be played with, so dupe it up. <laughs> if, you, if you can't afford it and you want to get something similar, like, that's respectable. Yeah, who are we to judge, right? Right. Yeah. But I won't, though. I won't. I won't. So he wants the real thing, and yeah. by the way, we all want the real thing, but once in a while, like these Bottega dupes we talked about, I mm. got by accident uh, $30, and my friend Maribel Rodriguez got them for 12 on Amazon, as did Maria, and wait a minute, Lauren over there's got a and dupe. What's um, that? Jim, is this the real deal? Or <laughs> is it the real deal? It looks real it to me. <laughs> I think I get duped all the time. <laughs> and so that's what it's about, having fun. It is yeah. not a ripoff. It's not the fake G for Gucci. Yeah. It is a look-alike and affordable, and you can have, as Maria does, hmm. a little bit of both worlds in play. What are the designers saying about this, though? So I don't think they love it, but there's not a lawsuits happening as they did back in the day with the counterfeits yeah. back in New York because it's not copying the exact logos and brands. It's a look-alike. Hmm. And there's look-alikes in everywhere in fashion. So as that lady said, you know, have some fun if you can. That yeah. Google image hack. That's going to get yeah. me in trouble. It's already got me in trouble this past week. <laughs>
Lisa Petrillo, thank, thank you so you. much. That was great, Lisa. Thanks. Now, another trend taking.